What if I told you that turning your static Enscape renders into an interactive website where you can move around your design is not just possible, but is incredibly simple. My name is Nathaniel, and over the last eight years, I have built custom interactive 3D experiences for some of the largest brands in real estate. I have now automated that process into a platform for any designer or 3D artist to easily create their own. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform your Enscape project into an interactive website where you can move around your design using digitalspaces.io. So whether you're working with SketchUp, Rhino, or Revit, get ready to take your designs to the next level. Stay tuned because this is going to change the way you share and showcase your projects. Okay, I have my project open in Enscape. Let's kick things off by starting at the entry of the project. Since we're going to be walking around the scene, placing views where we want the users to move to, Starting at the entry is helpful because that helps set the flow to the experience. Now that we're at the entry, we need enter walk mode. To do that, you click on the wings in the top right corner and enter walk mode. Now that we're in walk mode, we can fine tune where we want the experience to start. So I'm gonna start right at the front door. Next, we're gonna open up the view management window, which are the binoculars in the top left, and we're gonna create a view in the bottom right. It doesn't matter what you name your view, you can leave it the default name, but I'm gonna name mine DS. 01. And then all the other settings you can leave default as well. I'm going to hit create and then be careful. It often kicks you out of walk mode. So we're just going to click the wings in the top right again and go back into walk mode. And then using WASD on the keyboard, we're going to move to the next location. We would like to set up a view. And once again, we're going to hit create view. I'm going to name mine DS02, but again, you can name yours whatever you like keep all the settings the same and hit create. Once again, it kicked us out of walk mode. So I'm gonna click on the wings, enter walk mode again. I'm going to continue to move through the scene, setting up a view about every five to 10 feet or two to three meters. Here's a plan view of where I'm creating the views from. Notice how all of the views connect. Bad examples would be making a straight line or having one view in every room. Views should be abundant and scattered so they all connect. When a user gets stuck, they get annoyed. So it's best to always give them multiple options for movement. I ended up with 21 views for this project, including going behind the lobby desk so the owner could get a feel for it, and also one in the back hallway of the mailroom. Once all of our views are created, we're ready to render and bring this to life. Open the visual settings window, which is the eyeball in the top right. Go to the output tab. Under panorama, select a resolution. I'm gonna go with normal. Next, we're ready to batch render. Open the batch render window and select your views. I created 21 views, so I'm gonna select them all. And then to render your views, select on the arrow next to render images and select render mono panoramas. And these will then batch render. The last thing that we need to do before we bring everything into digitalspaces.io is export the 3D model. We only want to export geometry close to the views. So turn off site models or geometry that's far from your cameras before exporting. It doesn't matter if you export from Revit, SketchUp, or Rhino. Here's how to export for each program. For SketchUp, you will go to File, Export, and Export as a Collada, or .dae. For Revit, you will export as an FBX. To do that, you will go to File, Export, Export, and select FBX Files. This is the modern version of FBX. I don't know why it doesn't default to that. For Rhino, you will need to export as an FBX. For that, you'll navigate to File, Save As, select FBX and export. You do not need to save textures. Now it's time to upload to digitalspaces.io. If you do not have an account already, go to the website at digitalspaces.io and under get started at the top, select create my own. Here you'll need to register for a free account. If you're going to be using this for work, I recommend using your work email. Once you have your account and you're on the dashboard, create a digital space on the left-hand side with the plus digital space button. You're prompted to give it a name. I'm gonna name mine Lumen on night and create. Once we're in our project, we're prompted to upload our model on the left and our images on the right. I'm gonna start by uploading my images. I'm gonna pull up the folder where I saved the images to, select them all and drag them into the images on the right. For the model, I'm just gonna navigate to where I saved the model and drag that in on the left. Because of the size of my model and the fact that I had 21 images, it will just take a few minutes to upload. It really depends on your internet connection and your speed. Once the model is uploaded, it will search for the cameras and you'll be prompted on the left with your camera menu. When you get the camera list, you could just hit continue. You don't need to worry about the cameras. The camera list is for programs other than Enscape. Now it will take a few minutes for my model to process. Okay, my model finished processing. What we do when we process the model is bring it down to about five megabytes so it can be viewed on the web and on any device. We can see our model is simplified 
if I zoom in here, if you look at the furniture or other objects in here, you'll see that the poly count has really come down. And then the black dots in here are all of the view locations that we set up. So we can see that we're reading those. So now that our model has been processed and our panos have all been uploaded, we can pop to the view tab to see the experience. Now in the view tab, we can see our experience and we can see on the ground, these are our other view locations that we can move to, but these are actually misaligned. That can happen sometimes using Enscape. To fix that is very simple. We'll go to under alignment, rotate image, and we'll just click the first button once and hit save. Okay, our view should be aligned now and we can click to move around. And that's it. It's that easy to make a digital space. The last thing that I'm going to do is go back to the project page and hit publish in the top right. Once the project's published, we can open it up in a new tab by selecting this arrow icon all the way on the right. We can copy the link with the copy icon, or we can get the embed code using this embed link as well. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. And here we are. Our experience is live. We can take this link from the URL and we can share this on social media. We can send this to our client. We could send this to a friend. We can share it all across the web. Well, that completes the tutorial on how to make a digital space in Enscape. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have a question or if you got some benefit from this tutorial. Be sure to check out some of our other videos for other tutorials as well. See you next time.